Welcome everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and today we're taking a look at the 1985 Porsche number 185 959 Pro Drive Rally Raid. Now this was intended to take part in Group B road racing uh, to help develop technology for future production cars. However when the Group B rally, uh, road racing turned into Group B rallying events, the Porsche didn't see such events having much relevance to the kind of road cars they were hoping to produce. So they scrapped that idea and yeah it did do some rallying it competed in the 1985 and 1986 Paris to Dakar rally didn't do all that well in 1985 as all three of the cars that were entered failed to finish but in 1986 they had a one two finish with these cars so yeah f relatively successful I guess in one way or another especially to finish two of the same cars in the uh, same race uh, but yeah that's all really as in terms of rally pretensions to be honest but that is a kind of a shame really because this is actually a fairly capable rally car it's got the all-wheel drive system from the 959 standard version which was actually released after this uh, uh, rally car was released and uh, yeah it's got a few more modifications over the uh, standard version you got inlet uh, pipes behind the door well vents even and you got brake lights at the top you got the radiator sticking out of the rear uh, you got obviously mud flaps, you got a raised ride height, and uh, yeah, it's just it's got all the general p uh, racing paraphernalia really on it. Uh, especially in the interior, as you can see, it's got a whole host of buttons, fuse boxes, and all the usual stuff. So, yeah, you'd imagine with all this stuff ripped out of the interior, for instance, that this car would be lighter. It actually isn't, it's 132 pounds more than the standard 959 and that's purely because it's got you know high ride height it's got roll cage etc inside so yeah it's not actually any uh, p more powerful either it has 394 horsepower 320 pounds feet of torque from its 2.8 litre twin turbocharged flat 6 engine so that's 56 horsepower less than the standard 959 and 49 pounds feet of torque less as well but then again this car's more about controllability being able to go off road and being able to, you know, deal with those tough conditions, and yeah, obviously in 1986 it was capable of that not just once but twice. So, yeah, fairly successful in that regards. But uh, yeah, we're going to obviously see what this car's like. Uh, we're going to take it onto some off-road uh, parts of this uh, UK map. So uh, yeah, let's get out there and see what it can do. So yeah, there's a fairly good off-road course around near where I am right now in this game. So. Uh, we're going to take it out there and see what it is capable of, but yeah. I'm quite glad that this car is on the game, to be honest, because firstly, I didn't know that 959 ever had any rally pretensions, or even competed in any form of rally, so that was an interesting find to uh, discover. And then, obviously, the fact that it is something that's primarily based for off-roading, which is something we've not had from Porsche before. Now, obviously, well, I do apologise for that. Obviously, we have had, you know, the, the KN on, and the Macan on this Forza series before. But as much as they try and be off-road vehicles, they're certainly no rally cars. And, uh, yeah, this certainly is. So, uh, yeah, even though this is a lot less powerful than the standard 959, and also has that additional weight, it's not massively slower in terms of acceleration and speed, to be honest. Not to 16, 4.5 seconds, not to 110 seconds, and it's going to a top speed of 173 miles an hour. Now that is 9 second, point 0.9 seconds. I'm sorry. Oh dear. Point 0.9 seconds slower to a 60 than the 959, and 1.8 seconds slower to 100. But when you consider that you know it has so much less power, torque, and more weight isn't half bad and uh, yeah it's top speed might well be 26 mile an hour slower than the 959 but this car was never really designed for a high end top speed it was meant to deal with the rough stuff at the highest speed possible and uh, yeah that's certainly something that, that the standard 959 would certainly not be able to do certainly wouldn't survive very well on a course like this so uh, yeah as far as rally cars go of standard uh, cars on this game this is easily the best I imagine I've not looked at every avenue of them but certainly better than uh, the likes of the uh, VW Bug Baja off-roader and the uh, 
the uh, black one, I can't remember the name of it, but there's, there's a black version of the Beetle as well on this game. There's also a rally orientated version as well, but yeah, this is far better than them and any other ones that I can think of. And uh, yeah, quite frankly, it's a supercar for the off road, to be honest. 4.5 seconds to 60 is quicker than certain sports cars from today. So uh, the fact that this is as fast as that while able to deal with this kind of stuff is fairly impressive. And you have to really doff your cap to a uh, Porsche for being able to do it, quite frankly. Obviously, it didn't have all that much success in rallying, but, you know, they tried. And it's just a shame that Group B changed from road racing to uh, rallying and, and they couldn't really... Uh, justify spending all that money on something that wasn't going to uh, bring uh, any uh, advantages to their road cars so yeah that is a shame but you know it is at least on this game and it is a good addition to the game alongside the other Porsche that was released in the season pass which was the 356A 1600 Super which is you know as far as two cars from the same manufacturer goes you can't really get any uh, more different supercar rally car while uh, got a uh, classic sports car from the 50s nonetheless yeah really glad this is on the game and uh, yeah it's always good to find cars that you've uh, never heard of before which is something uh, the DLC on Forza games is really good at there's always been uh, at least several cars that I've never heard of before that have been introduced and uh, yeah it's either given me a new interest in a certain vehicle or uh, you know made me see a, a variant of a vehicle in a new light and uh, this rally car along with the 356A 1600 Super have both done that really because I see the 959 as more than just a, a pretty good supercar and the, uh, the 356A Speedster is more than just a uh, pretty convertible because now we have the hardtop version as well so uh, yeah pretty impressed with this week's cars certainly more so than the Nissan uh, Sentra from the previous week and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what we've got in the next few weeks coming up. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.